What's up my heart fam? My name is Veronica Ponce and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining but before we get started I'm going to ask you for three favors. One, that you subscribe to my channel. The button is right down below. Make sure you click the bell so you can get notified every time I do an upload. Two, that you like this video. And number three, that you share it with everybody, with your friends, your family, with everyone. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you three seconds to do that. One, two, <laughs> three. Thank you so much, everybody, and let's go ahead and get started with this video. So as a title, we are going to go ahead and do a little tour of my closet. It's not a big closet, uh, but when you see the pictures of how it was before, I would say it's a huge transformation. <laughs> believe a system like this can make a closet change well I mean I can because I see it now but it is amazing and um, I actually did so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this so this actually was purchased from Ikea it's called the pack system they have different colors I believe they have black white I'm not sure if brown uh, but you can customize however you like it. The website itself, it has um, certain kits that if you want to already, you can go ahead and select it how it is. Or you can actually go and select it and uh, customize it at your own wish. And that's pretty much what I did. Uh, the price itself for everything that I have here, it ended up costing me about $2,000. I know that's a little bit high, but um, I had added the doors on it, which I, to me, in my personal opinion, it makes it look a little bit more uh, fancy, more a little bit more luxurious than just without doors. Uh, so that's why I definitely wanted to add it. Uh, but yeah, I actually had gotten two quotes for different companies. One of them was Home Depot, and uh, it was double the price. Uh, and a little, and the other one was like triple. So I was not about to spend that much money. So what I did, I ordered them online, it came in, and uh, we put everything together. So that's how we did it. I'll be putting some clips of, um, of the boxes that I received and stuff like that. And then, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started with the tour. Okay, so right there in the corner, as I was saying, um, I had added the jackets, um, so like that, um, it's not, I don't use them too often, so I don't have to make such a hassle to get to it since it's very quartered, and of course I couldn't add a door on there, but I did put a light. Um, all these lights, I got them at Home Depot, um, and they are all uh, battery operated. As you can see in the corner, I do have some bags, I'm ready to do some, um, some videos for some clothing hauls. But yeah, so right here, um, this is the first one. This is the pack system. Like I said, this was the one of the wider ones. And it has the two doors on there. I'll open it right now. But pretty much what I did is I made this for my crop tops up the top. And then the bottom, I went ahead and made that for my regular shirts. I do also have some shoes in the bottom. Uh, the knobs itself, I ended up ordering them through Amazon. But here is how it looks inside. Just like that. So see, in my opinion, if I would have gotten them like this without the doors, it looks nice. But I don't know. It just, to me, it just made it more fancy. And I wanted my closet to be top notch. <laughs> within a budget. <laughs> so that's why. I ended up adding this little thing right here on the side as well. Which is pretty cool. It's a slider. And pretty much this is where I put my purses. Um, and then I also can put like belts or anything like that. And then uh, whenever I'm done grabbing it, I can go ahead and pull it back to its position. And then I can go ahead and close out the door. I do have this right here, the shelving, which defeats the purpose because I can't open it. <laughs> so I'm going to have to remove that and get a different shelving. Uh, but that's pretty much what I have here. So let me go ahead and close this out and we'll go to the next section. 
This one right here, like I was saying, this is uh, specially made for corners. And um, at the top, um, I have where I have my more expensive purses. I have my only one that I own, but it's very prideful to me. I, I don't even like to use it because I'm afraid I'm going to dirty it. <laughs> but yeah, I have a, a Gucci one, a Versace, Michael Kors. I have a, a few other Michael Kors in the back. Uh, this one right here I pretty much use for jumpsuits and for uh, long dresses or if not also long jackets. Um, again, this is only I've only put one rod for here. And then I do have some extra shoes at the bottom. Um, over here um, on the other side... Again, this is how it is. It's a cornered one. I really like this because it was um, I was able to squeeze in a little bit more on there. But right here, as you can see, I have my shoes. I ended up pairing. Uh, I ended up uh, putting four pairs in each row, which is very helpful <laughs> since I love shoes. <laughs> but that's pretty much here. And then um, these little lights right here. See right there, these. I got those, like I said, from Home Depot as well, uh, and they're all uh, battery operated, and they also have the remote to turn off and on. Let me go ahead and close the door, and then we'll go ahead and go to this side. So this one right here is also another one for shoes, and um, I ended up getting two because I knew I had a lot of shoes, and I wanted to get something different. So for this particular corner one, I did not get, I was not able to get the sliders for the shoes because... Uh, the depth of that one is a little bit shorter than this one. So I went ahead and got these shelvings that actually come out, which I'll show you right now. So this is how I have it right here. So if you go down. And then also here I paired one, two, three, four, five, six pairs in each shelving. So you can see all the way at the bottom. And then as I was saying, it does come out. So this shelf right here, it comes out. You can go ahead and grab what you need. Oh, and then I also put um, some sandals in the back. So technically, it's a total of eight. And then um, you can go ahead and slide it back over. Uh, the other, they do have some other doors too, but I really like this one. I felt that this one was a little bit more fancier. All right, this one right here, the middle one. This is where kind of I saw it as wanting to be kind of my showcase one. And um, this is right here where I didn't put no doors on it because it was more for decoration purposes and also for, I wanted to utilize this one for my makeup as well. Um, this one right here is, like I said, it's a different system. So this is a like a T kind of shape one. And then you can add these different drawers. You have the option to select, you know, just the regular ones with uh, no glass in the front. Then you have the glass. I mean, there's so many options. It is crazy. It took me like a day to actually be able to go through everything and know exactly what I wanted. Uh, but at the top, as you can, as you probably wonder, why didn't I put the Gucci ones um, showcase up here? The reason why I didn't want to is because I didn't want them to get dirty. So that's why. But that's pretty much what I have there. I have this purse right here, which I blinged out myself. Um, I have some uh, Aldo purses. And I believe it's Ink Company that does that shoes. And then over here, I have some of my perfumes, some of my favorite ones. Picture of my daughter, <laughs> my youngest one. And then here, oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, and then um, as you notice, this is glass, so I want it to be see-through. Because um, they also had the one where it's just the shelving by itself and no glass. But I wanted this one itself. So here, um, they have this one here too, and of course the divider is all separate. But pretty much right here, I have this one where I put my belt and uh, my sunglasses, my headbands, and my mirrors. Uh, these are the remotes for the lights. And um, as you can see here, I have my Gucci belt, my Versace, my Gucci sunglasses, some Versace, and then some of just generic ones. And then I have um, some of my headbands. I close this back. And then we have this other one as well that I wanted for my jewelry. I, before, back in the days, I used to wear jewelry like crazy. And now I swear, I don't, I hardly do. <laughs> so I don't have too many. But pretty much right here, I have so much, so many of these clips that were kind of your hair clips that were, that are in right now. And I got a whole bunch and I haven't even worn it once. <laughs> but here I have some other hair clips, some necklaces, <clears throat> earrings. And then I got this tool for my rhinestones anytime I want to wear them for my eyes. And then here are the other rhinestones, and these are the um, these are for my shoes. 
Um, but again, this also um, is uh, something separate that you buy in Ikea, but all this is available in Ikea. And I love it because, it again, it separates them and it looks really nice. The other thing here, this one, I still haven't decided exactly what to do with it. Um, oh, don't you love my, look at, I love my phrase. <laughs> and my money bag. <laughs> so cute. Uh, but I don't know exactly what to do with this, so I think I'm going to go ahead and get some containers for like lipsticks and and eyeshadows and stuff, and I'm going to be putting my makeup in here and kind of, um, you know, to be able to showcase it. But yeah, that's something for the future, so I haven't finished this drawer right here. Uh, this one right here, like I was saying, <clears throat> it's a mess. I have my makeup here. I have to buy dividers. Um, I didn't get the dividers from Ikea because at that point I didn't know what I was going to do. But I believe that I'm going to end up going uh, getting some from Amazon. Same thing. Eyeshadows. More makeup. These are like my main four drawers for makeup. <laughs> and then the other bottom ones are just pretty much my clothes that I wear for um, my everyday. And stuff like that. Uh, this one right here is um, one of the... <clears throat> Once I have my more blinged out outfits at the top, I have again that's the shelving with the mirror like. I have the my other shoes right there. Um, I actually haven't even worn them yet. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I have um, my clothes here. One thing that I did love too that I also got was this thing right here. So if you slide it, hey. <laughs> so if you slide it right here, you can actually. Um, have this mirror and it's pretty big as you can see right there and then if you want you can go ahead and turn it and then you can have your jewelry right there so it's pretty cool let me go ahead and put this back again um, I also got some more shoes on there and then my drawers for my for my um, bras and stuff um, this one right here, again, um, the last one, I was not able to put a door in there because it's cornered. So um, if I put a door on there, I wouldn't be able to open it. Uh, but see, this one right here, since it was in the corner hiding, I went ahead and just put a regular shelf, not the glass one. Um, and then over there at the top, I do have some purses. Um, but other than that, I do have like my two-piece um, sets here. And then I have my dresses uh, with also skirts and pants over here on this side. So that's pretty much um, how my closet is. So let me just back out and then give you a little tour again. You're a rebel, getting into trouble. You are kind of like a fire, like a fire, like a fire. All right, you guys, so we are at the end of the video. Thank you so much if you made it all this way. Again, I just wanted to kind of bring you guys an idea of a cheaper alternative in case you wanted to flip around your closet. That way, you know, you can go ahead and save some money. But I appreciate for you being all the way over here. Again, if you have any ideas, go ahead and put them down in the box in the comments uh, section below. And other than that, I'll see you guys until next time. Bye.